What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We're here with Aridin, Algren, Morgan, Liliana, and of course, Brucey. We're going to head on into the gauntlet over here. See if we are worthy enough to uh, take the sacred ashes for ourselves or take it back to Eamon and sprinkle them on him like some freaking uh, cake icing or whatever the hell freaking you sprinkle ashes or sugar onto, sugar cakes. Who knows? Let's just go in here and get this shit done. Because the sacred ashes, well, the gauntlet part is, you know, it just really eludes my memory. So it should be very interesting. It's going to be a very um, trial and error type of thing. Because, I, you know, I just can't remember. I just can't really remember how to do this stuff. So let's look in the journal. It does not look like anything had updated. You found Brother Jenna TV. The village of Haven captured him. He arrived in search of the urn. He has determined the urn's location to be in the mountains nearby. Held within an old temple built to protect it. So, no reason to wait around. Let's go ahead and get right in here and get to it, friends. See if we can save our Eamon until it will help us for sure. I just really don't see the necessity of wanting to defile these ashes. We need our Eamon, you know? If we go in here to defile the ashes, we will never save Eamon. We would never be able to get his army to fight the Blight. I just don't really see that, you know? Aridim would just not do it. Kind of doesn't make sense. Something about this place makes my skin prickle. Yeah. Go ahead and listen to Algren, friends. The reason I say that is because, um... I know of things in Inquisition. Maybe not all of you know of stuff. But eventually, down the line, we're going to talk about things. Um... About Algren's stuff that he kind of says here. And it's interesting because Algren is a dwarf and, you know, dwarves have the uh, connection to the stone and they're, they have this thing going on with lyrium and such, so... Just remember this Let's stuff because he says some really interesting things here. Oddly enough, he's probably one of the least people that's probably brought here. Why would you want to bring Algren here, you know? I mean, most people probably bring Liliana, Alistair, Wynn or something. Somebody that's kind of tailored to this. That you think would be good for this, but actually Algren and Liliana together are really great for this mission. Excuse me. I bid you, welcome, you must be the guardian. Yes, I am the guardian of the ashes. I have waited years for this. For me? You are the first to arrive in a very long time. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful who come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here, and shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea. I don't think the Imperium is as powerful as it once was, so your task is almost complete, I would say, there, Guardian. Ah, is it not? Then perhaps this is the beginning of the end. Well, let's just dig, friends. Let's see. Um... What can you tell me about the Urn of Sacred Ashes? You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. Hmm. This mountain has veins of lyrium running all through it. Uh, can't mistake that tingle. It's so strong I can just about smell it. <laughs> Makes you wonder what's magical here. The urn or the mountain? What exactly is keeping you alive, Guardian? It is not my place to question. What do you know about these disciples of Andraste? When my brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinter to this sanctuary, we vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste. 
and their promise. What about you? Who are you? I am all that remains of the first disciples. I swore I would protect the urn as long as I lived. And I have lived a very long time. The first disciples? Did you know Andraste? Did anyone really know her, save the Maker? She would sometimes spend weeks alone in meditation, often without food or water. How is it possible that you live so long? I made a vow to Andraste and to the Maker. My life is tied to the ashes. As long as they remain, so will I. What sort of magic allows you to cheat death like this? I am the Guardian. I am my duty. Is this magic, or is it faith? Learn not to judge so quickly, young one. Let me see the urn then. You have come to honor Andraste. And you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. I need the uh, ashes to cure a nobleman to help fight the blight. Still, you must prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... What is the gauntlet? The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false. You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. Can you tell me anything else, you know, about this gauntlet? You will understand what it is when you face it. Um, well, I guess I have no choice, so let me go ahead and answer the gauntlet then. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. Tamlin was one of your tribe. A blood brother. You left him in the ruins. Left him to his fate. Tell me, Pilgrim. Did you fail Tamlin? I don't exactly think that we left Tamlin in the ruins, friends. We kind of blacked out and ended up in the camp area there. So I don't necessarily think we left him there, but until I guess you can say we did because we didn't search hard enough. We didn't keep searching, but we didn't have time to keep searching. But I could have pulled him away from that mirror, yes. Thank you. That is all I wish to know. Is there any religion that does not thrive upon guilt like a glutton at his lunch? No? I thought not. You could not have known what would happen. You did what you thought was best. Ah, uh, everyone makes mistakes. I say have an ale and let it go. And what of those that follow you? And you, why do you say the Maker speaks to you, when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special, 
You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. Ah, the Dwarf. You left your home and came to the surface, knowing that... Why don't I save you some time? Yes, I wish I could have saved my family from Bronca. I wish I'd been a better mate. Maybe she'd have stayed home with a belly full of baby Ogren and never gone for the anvil. Maybe I failed her. And yes, I came to the surface because I'm barely a dwarf anymore. My family is dead. My honor as a warrior long gone. I've lost my caste and my house, and I have nothing else to lose. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. If only we could have heard what he was going to say about Morrigan, friends. That would have been great. Braid the gauntlet to reach the Undertaker Ashes, you need to undergo a test of faith. The Guardian calls this test a gauntlet. If you survive, you will have proven yourself worthy. The gauntlet is now open to you. Interesting. Let's go, friends, huh? The Maker's first children, which is demons. The Maker's first creations were spirits, glorious beings that populated the... Many spires of the Golden City and the Chant of Light says that they revere the Maker with unquestioning devotion. The Maker, however, was dissatisfied, although the spirits were like him in that they could manipulate the ether and create from it. They did not do so. They had no urge to create and even when instructed to do so, possessed no imagination to give their creations ingenuity or life. The Maker realized his own folly. He had created the spirits to resemble him. In all but one and most important way, they did not have the spark of the divine within them. He expelled all the spirits out of the Golden City and into the Fade and proceeded to his next creation, Life. The Maker created the world and the living beings upon it, separated from the Fade and the Veil. His new children would be unable to shape the world around them and thus would need to struggle to survive. In return, for their struggle, the Maker gave them a spark of the Divine, a soul, and he watched with pleasure as his creations flourished and showed the ingenuity that he had hoped for. The spirits grew jealous of the living and coaxed them into the Fade when they slept. The spirits wished to know more about life, hoping to find a way to regain the Maker's favor. Through the eyes of the living, they experienced new concepts, love, fear, pain, and hope. The spirits reshaped the Fade to resemble the lives and concepts they saw. Each spirit desperately trying to bring the most dreamers to their own realm so they could vicariously possess a spark of the divine through them. As the spirits grew in power, however, some of them became contemptuous of the living. These were the spirits that saw the darkest parts of the dreamers. Their lands were places of torment and horror, and they knew that the living were strongly drawn to places that mirrored those dark parts of themselves. The spirits questioned the Maker's wisdom and proclaimed the living inferior. They learned from the darkness they saw and became the first demons. Rage, hunger, sloth, desire, pride. These are the dark parts of the soul that give demons their power. The hooks they use to claw their way into the world of the living. It was demons that whispered into the minds of men, convincing them to turn from the Maker and worship false gods. They seek to possess all life as their due. Forging kingdoms of nightmare in the fade, in the hopes of one day storming the walls of heaven itself. And the Maker despaired once again, for he had given the power of creation to his new children, and in return they created sin. Nice interesting little tale, friends. Let's go ahead and get to it. I really wish we could have heard Morgan stuff there. See, this is going to be interesting here because we are a Dalish elf. We don't know shit about, um, Chantry... Um, religion, so I'm going to RP and say Liliana is actually helping us here full force, and I'm actually happy she's here, because we, Intel, would probably not really know this stuff, unless we were just reading about it in camp, learning about the uh, lore behind the human religion. The smallest lark could carry it. I 
a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? What did she say? Um, let me hear it again. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Smallest lark? Um, let's go with a tune. Yes, I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life, and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. Well, alrighty. Who's this one, Brona? Excuse me, ma'am. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Let's just go ahead and guess, friends, because I don't remember. I feel like it's love or dreams. Dreams? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Two for two. Excuse me, who's this one? Lady Vasilia? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Liliana, could you help me out here? Oh, what was that? Vengeance? Okay. Yep, vengeance it is, I think. Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. Hell yeah, friends. Pain short hand. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? I believe you speak of home. Let's do home for 300 sovereigns, please. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. I like his story, man, Shartan. He's got a nice story. Excuse me, General Maffa Rappa Bopla Blop, or whatever the hell your name is. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Uh, shit, friends. I'm pretty sure it's jealousy because of, um, his story. Because he was, like, jealous of Andraste. So, jealousy for 200, please. Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamari. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? You loved her, but you freaking killed her, you putz. What an idiot. Liliana's good at this, huh, guys? She's really, a. Uh... We wouldn't have been able to do this without her. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? I don't remember this one. This is the guy that took her ashes. Took it to the mountains, though. It has to be it. Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinta into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. Excuse me, sir. Disciple Catherine, whatever the hell. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, 
sharper than any sword, comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? I believe you speak of hunger. Hunger for 300, please. Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. The crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the makers smiled on us. Interesting. Archon Hasarian. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? I believe um the whole thing with him is mercy because of the blade of mercy and all that stuff that I can remember. So, mercy? Yes. I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. Alright, friend. Might have been easier to just kill them all, huh? But, you know. It's so cold here, brother. Do you feel it? The chill eats at my bones. Tamlin? Is it really you? You think? This cannot be Tamlin. Tamlin is gone. He is only footsteps in the dust. I am Tamlin, and yet I am not. I am part of the gauntlet, and part of you. Well, I wish I could have told Tamlin that I tried to find him. Some things lost can never be found. Some mistakes never unmade. Those that survive must go on living. You have suffered enough, thinking that you could have done something. It is time to leave that behind. Take this. It is nothing compared to the crafts of our fathers, but it should serve you well. I wish you well, my friend. We will not meet again. See you, Tamlin. All our inventory is full, friends. Get out of here with that crap. Let's go ahead and get rid of some shit. Damn it. I don't like when our inventory is full. Let's just go ahead and destroy a bunch of crap. Just in case we gotta get more stuff up here. Can I siege going? Let's go. Cool. See ya. Have a good one. Not like we need the money anyway, friends. All right, that should be enough. What did he give us? Oh, reflection added. Cool. All right, well, let's keep on trekking, huh? Holy moly. What we got here, Brucey? Oh, even Brucey's here. That is cool. Let's go ahead and get a holy smite on Morgan before she wrecks us all. Taunt on board. Holy shit. Let's see. Enemy... They were visible. I hate that we have to keep doing this every time. We got web. And then poison spit, yeah? Get Morrigan with a pummel. Oh. Let's get back to our Morrigan. Heal Aridin. Aridin's hurting, friends. Holy moly. What can we do with Liliana over here? Go ahead and force field her. Get back to Aridin. Oh, Morgan turned into a damn bear. Okay. Oh, come here. That's well, because you're fighting somebody that's freaking force fielded. Morgan. Blood magic. We got Brucey. Oh, Brucey's fighting Aridin over there. Nice. Is Algren dead? Algren's still alive. Algren's beating up Algren. Let's see. Let's get the spider onto Aridin. 
Let's get back to our error then. Get Morgan out of the picture. Algren's done. Let's get over to Lily. Better with a pummel. Let's get on Algren. Booyah! Come on, Liliana. Bring it on. See ya. That was actually kind of hard, friends. Oh, damn it, friends. Okay. I suspect we'll have to work together to get across. Yeah. So, is anyone gonna suggest tossing the dwarf across? No? Pity. And Brucey happily barks and prances about. All right, well, I let's say I can vaguely remember. <laughs> let's do Algren here. That part of the bridge looks like it's there, but I don't think it is. Try something else. Okay, well, hold on here. Let's get Lily on this one. Get Morgan. I believe it's this one. Ah, oh, so there's the trick. Each piece must be made solid in order for one of us to cross. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, man, I don't remember which one disappears because Aridin might be down in the deep. I believe we stay on the first one. Let's get back to Algren. Sure. This one. Back to Aridin. Shit, friends. This is creepy because I don't remember exactly. Get back to Morgan. I think it's... I want to say it's the end one, but... Try this one. Get back to Lily. Um, that one. Get on Aridin. Get over here. Let's see. The next one is probably. It's got to be Algren. Yeah, buddy, you belch right in my face with your stench. If not, Eridan falls down the pretty hole, friends. You know... Hmm. I know at one point we need to go over this side and get this end part. I don't know, let's try it now. So I know this side triggers these things. Let's get the Morgan. I am listening. Damn right you are, baby. I don't know which one it is, friends, because I don't want to get rid of Aridin. I feel like it's over here somewhere. Let's just match the same side as Olgrim was on, then. Yeah, buddy! That was exciting. Can we do it again? Hell no, we can't do it again. Fucking eight hours of my time here trying to do this damn thing. Get over here, you little putzes. Thank you. You guys did good. That wasn't so bad. It was actually a little easier this time. The urn would be bigger. Andraste was a small woman, huh? I think she was a barbarian. Um, Algren? You think it would be bigger, huh? The altar's a little more than dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved into its face. Cast off trappings of worldly life and cloak yourself in... The goodness of spirit, king and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Well, let's go ahead and get nude. 
Yeah, buddy. What's up, girls? Hey, Ogren. Bloody and naked. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... Oh, I, I, I have no words to express. Ah, don't get your knickers in a twist, sweet cheeks. I don't know how mystical this urn really is. The lyrium veins in these walls are richer and purer than any I've sensed in a while. It's, uh, it's doing things, changing this temple and everything in it. I stand in awe. Really? That's it? <laughs> Thought it would be bigger. I mean, it's pretty big, Ogren. These are the remains of Andraste, Prophet, and Bride of the Maker. Let's go ahead and take a pinch, huh? You take a pinch of the ashes and place it into a leather pouch. Thank you! Found the Undertaker ashes, use it on our Eamon to heal him. Alright, friends, well, we, we got the urn. It's safe to say, I think we should head back and try to heal Eamon. Um, Liliana, is there any chests over here? Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Greater health poultice. Potent? Hell yeah, friends. We could use all that. We can use as much as that as possible. So, the Guardian is just gone now. Interesting. So, everyone leveled up here. Thank you. We got Lily on board. Let's give her... Give her a bit more cunning. Then I want to give her more of that stuff. See, like, what what is this? How does she have an ability here? How is that possible? When I respect her, that definitely wasn't there. What the fuck's going on? We can't even get rid of it. I can't even... Is that a bug? Has you guys ever even hit with some kind of weird bug it, like that before? It doesn't matter because when a target is incapacitated, opportunist rogue strikes when it hurts the most, inflicting automatic backstabs against stunned or this doesn't even work for her anyway. The fact that it's there is so weird. I you know, I noticed it last episode um the stuff with the bear stuff because at the end of the episode, I was looking in here at her stuff because I was going to respect her again. But I noticed it and I didn't think about it because I thought I had this one. But that's weird. So Lily is like bugged ever since the bear situation here. You know, I would really love to get her Master Stealth. Since we have enough, let's just go ahead and get her Lethality. When all said and done. That's just weird, friends. I will respect Liliana again to get rid of it so it's not cheating. But I don't, un I don't understand what the deal is with her. She's been very weird ever since the whole double bear thing. Well, let's give Morgan nothing but magic. We want, we were trying to work towards death hex, correct? And now we got it. End game. It's over. You guys are screwed now, pals. After this, we're gonna give her the one and done walking bomb, friends. She is gonna be a walking freaking monster. Give Algren all strength. You know, hate to say it, but we're gonna need to give him more cunning. And then we want to give him Destroyer. And then we got Aridin on board, baby. So no more in Constitution. I feel like we went too high in Constitution. 
Our willpower is probably good. Let's go on strength. And then let's work towards getting assault. Cool. All right, Lily, you're just weird, girl. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. She's got some crazy weird things going on, friends. Well, let's head back to uh, Jenna TV. Where's the old geezer Jenna TV at? He's still here. Look at him. We could have left his ass here, probably, friends. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? Show Jenna TV the pouch of ashes. Is that? Oh, there's some dust on. No, that's not dust. Oh, Maker, I am not worthy to look upon. What? What was it like coming to the urn? I mean. It was pretty grueling there, Jenna TV. There were a bunch of tests. Tests? Interesting. Very interesting. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here. It must be studied. And and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the Urn. Well, it's your guys' custom. I don't really care what you guys do with it, so... To be honest with you, I don't really think it's wise, but I kind of don't really care what they do. It's because it's their religion, but I'm just going to warn him, I guess. Many will try to exploit this discovery. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. I agree. We cannot withhold this from others. It is not our place. I wish people wanted to share me more often, especially the ladies. I want more ladies to share me. <laughs> I will spread this good news or die trying. Then <laughs> we can kill Jenna TV. I'm not trying to be selfish here. This is just really ridiculous, but it's the only way to say that you're right. I mean, I don't care if he spreads it or not. I was just giving him a warning, you know? And if something bad comes of it... Well, okay, here. If something bad comes of it, I guess it's your fault then, Jenna TV. But I did give you a warning. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Poor guy. We could have cut him down right then and there. I didn't want to do that, you know? I didn't want to kill old Jenna TV. So we're done here. Let's go to Red Cliff Village because we have a quest to turn in there. Awake. Did you did you feel it too? It was like the archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think wait. Did you hear that? Dark spot approach. Watch for the Why well, you always gotta drop it on my damn head? Let's see. Let's go ahead and hit this one with the overpower, baby. See ya. You... Lethaline. Holy moly, it's Tamlin. Look at this poor guy. Tamlin, is that you? Don't come near me! Stay away! Okay. Tamlin? Excuse me, sir. Don't look at me! I am sick! Tamlin. We can help you, don't be afraid. 
No help! No help for me! The song in my head, it calls to me. He sings to me. I can't stop it! Don't want to hurt you, Letholine. Please, stop me! Aridin's not going to let Tamlin suffer here. As much as I want to say that we can heal him, how can we heal him, friends? We can't. We don't know how to make him a Grey Warden at this point. And our healers can't do nothing here for Tamlin. He's far gone. Our keeper stopped us. I mean, we could try to ask our healers to do it, but I don't think they can. Look at Tamlin. He's too far gone. He's worse off than Ruck, it seems. I wish uh, we never found that cave, Tamlin. I'm so sorry, Letheline. Never wanted this. Die. Oh, tingling. We will drink of your blood. As you wish. Oh, I love this game. Who was that? Man, I actually feel very sad to my heart, friends, right now. Seeing poor Tamlin like that. That's so sad, man. Holy moly. His name was Tamlin, Alistair. He was a good friend of mine. A brother in arms. Tamlin? Then he was the one who was with you when you... I'm so sorry. This is what happens when the taint is left unchecked. It's... It's better for him. To have it end. It was a mercy. Fortification should be built around the camp. Bro poison at it. Get a bloody night's rest. So what? He dig this hole here. What are you doing over here, spider? Dug this hole for him here, or herself, or something. Terrible friends. Well. Right. Interesting. Let's get over to Redcliffe Village, though. Man, I feel terribly sorry for his Tamlin. That's just so terrible. Poor guy. Algren, Alistair, Win. Where are we going to? Redcliffe Village. Before we head down in here, we're going to stop off at this point. Let's see. Give Alistair strength. He still needs that, though. We need more cunning on him. And then I would like to give him... Precise striking, and then... Do a weapon sweet. I'm probably not going to get momentum on him. I'm not going to have enough for it, obviously. So, let's see. Does he got short? Okay, he does. And then win. How you doing, win? 41 and 41 seems acceptable here. Give her that one. What do you got going on, win? What can we give you? Let's see here. So she seems to have everything we pretty much need, in a sense. I could try to get Waking Nightmare on win. See, Haste is actually really good, but it drains her mana rapidly. I was really trying to get it, though. At this point, if I don't get it, this is a wasted point here, because I don't really use this. Let's just give her haste, friends. Let's get on win. Damn right you stay in ready, pal. So she can't even use haste right now.
Which one can we get rid of? I really feel like we can't get rid of none of this. We can get rid of Mind Blast. Let's see. Self. Any. Activate. Haste. I think that's fine. Hopefully she doesn't run out of mana, which she probably will front. But let's get down into the village because we are going to turn something in when we come back next episode down there. And then... We are going to head over. You know, we might be able to actually give this guy his lyrium now. Let's do that before we head down. Excuse me, Templar. Lyrium on deck, pal. Move along, friend. I have a gift from you from the Mages Collective. Oh, wonderful. I always appreciate correspondence from my upstanding friends in the Collective. On behalf of myself and my men, I thank you. I'll make sure the Collective's generosity is reciprocated. On your way now. Quest updated. Damn it, we missed it, friends. You have delivered 10 Lyrian potions to Knight Commander Harith. Return to the Mages Collective for your reward. Interesting. So now that that's done, the rest of it will be done down there. Let's see. Um, let's jump into the journal, read something, anything. It doesn't matter which. I think we left off up here on... Things that I missed. Let's read, um... Let's read about some darkspawn, I guess. Genlock. These are the most common darkspawn in the underground. Stocky and tough. Genlocks are notorious, difficult to kill, even by magic. In any group of genlocks, there is usually one who is dominant. As the tallest, strongest, smartest of the kind, alpha serve as a sort of commander, directing, or bullying the others in combat. The most intelligent of the alphas become gifted sorcerers with many abilities akin to blood magic. There are emissaries, and they usually only appear during blights. So let's read Ogre. Towering over the Darkspawn Kin, the massive ogres are a rare sight on the battlefield. Traditionally, they appear during a blight, but some records claim that the ogres have been spotted in the deep roads, hunting alone or in small groups. At least one report of the Great Wardens claims that an ogre was spotted along the Kakari Wilds in 919 Dragon. That's like 11 years ago almost. Though it was weakened and easily dispatched, up to 100 of these creatures can accompany a Darkspawn Horde at any one time during a blight. Often using their great strength to burst through fortification, demolish the front lines of the opposing army. They use brute force to charge the enemies like bulls, slam the ground with their fists to shake enemies off their feet, and hurl giant rocks into the face of oncoming foes. Melee can be difficult against a giant that snatches a warrior up in one hand, crushing the life out of him or beating him into oblivion with the other hand. The nimble can try to wiggle its way free, or an ally can attempt to array of stunning blows of an ogre to free the comrade in danger. Grey Warden lore urges caution when slaying an ogre, unless it is ensured that they have received a major wound to the head or the heart. It is possible that they are lying dormant and will regenerate to full health within a matter of minutes. During a blight, the most Grey Wardens recommend burning the spawn to ashes, dead ogres in particular. So we just honestly have two more up here, which we have Shade and Rage Demon. And then we can move on to the uh, new stuff. So let's find... Where the hell is... Rage Demon right here. Encountered in the Fade, the true form of the Rage Demon is a frightening sight. A thing of pure fire, its body seemingly made of enormous lava, and its eyes two pinpricks of baleful light radiating from its core. The abilities of such a demon center on the fire it generates. It burns those who come near... And the most powerful of its kind are able to lash out with bolts of fire and even firestorms that can affect entire areas. Fortunately, even powerful rage demons are less intelligent than the most of other varieties. Their tactics are simple. Attack an enemy on sight with as much force as possible until it perishes. Some rage demons can carry over their heat-based abilities into possess hosts, but otherwise, the true form of it is mostly seen outside the Fade when it's specifically summoned by a mage to do its bidding. 
And then we have Sloth Demon Friends. Or not Sloth. Shades. Shade is an interesting write-up here. I've been actually wanting to read this for a while. Because shades are very... They're very hard to understand. It has often been suggested that the only way for a demon to affect the world of the living is by possessing a living or once living body. But this is not always true indeed. A shade is one such creature, a demon in its true form, that has adopted to affect the world around it. My hypothesis is this. We already know that many demons become confused when they pass through the veil into our world. They are unable to tell the living from the dead, the very static nature of our universe being confusing to a creature that is accustomed to a physically defined entirely by emotion and memory. Most demons seek to immediately seize upon anything they perceive as life, jealously attempting to possess it, but what of those that do not? What of those that encounter no life or fail to possess a body? What of those that are more cautious by their nature? These demons watch, they lurk, they envy. In time, such a demon will learn to drain energy from the physique of those it encounters, just as it did in the Fade. Once it is drained enough, it has the power to manifest and will forever after be known as a Shade. Such a creature spurns possession, it instead floats as a shadow across its piece of land, preying upon the physique of any who cross its path. Perhaps it believes that itself still in a fade, there is evidence to believe this is so. A shade will weaken the living by its very proximity. If it focuses its will, it can drain a single target very quickly. Some have even been known to assault the minds of the living victim, causing confusion or horror and making the target right for the kill. The tragedy of a shade is perhaps that once it has drained a target whole, its appetite is only heightened rather than slated. When the general former senior Tantor Malleus, one of the circle of Ravane, declared apostate 920 dragon. So interesting, we caught up pretty good on the codexes there. We have a few more that we missed, like uh, I believe we're going to read Brazilian Forest and something about the Dalish Elves that we haven't read. We kind of skipped over it. But anyways, friends, I'm out of here. When we get back, we'll head down here, turn in the Blacksmith's Daughter quest, head over there, cure all Eamon, and then after that, honestly... We'll go back to camp, talk a little bit, but it's time to uh, head to the Dalish um, and recruit the Dalish after that. But anyways, friends, take it easy. Have a good one. Till next time, stay safe.